Welcome back everybody. Okay, so in Minnesota the uh, stay at home order will expire soon, but as it is uh, I'm still recording during the middle of the human pandemic. So the human malware event. I've never done a little tour of the shop, so I just kind of wanted to show the what I do and where I work. So we're located in Hong Village, St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, it's a little uh, facility that if you can see behind me, there's actually uh, restaurants and such. And so usually back here, there's going to be tables and there'll be people coming in and eating. But I'm located here and it's noisy. So when I first started working at this location, there was no ceiling to the uh, uh, shop here. And we put one in, we put lighting and such in there. But, but this is the shop. So what you see in front are motherboards, really old ones too. So we've got AGP back, you know, a couple of these... Um, really really old motherboards here and some motherboards my first uh, my first uh, diagnostics computer actually was with this motherboard here this was a premium AMD board back in the day the GA 790 FX uh, UD5 had every connection you could think of as you can see here there is actually floppy IDE clear CMOS button power button reset button okay and it took uh, AM3 so we, I had a uh, quad core, the uh, uh, 955, and if you can see back here, we had all the connections: FireWire, the PS2, okay, optical out, analog out, uh, E SATA, okay. We had FireWire, FireWire again, another uh, high power USB, another E SATA, USB 2, USB 3, and LAN here, and so. And again, look at all the connections I had on this. This died because I was, at that time, I was lugging it around back and forth from work in the Antec skeleton case you see here. So this Antec skeleton case I bought back in 2010. 2000, yeah, it was 2010. This fan has been working seven days a week for roughly 10 years. That's freaking awesome. You know, because it's 2020 now. And um, the case has served me very well. Um, it still has really cool air if I put my hand in here and look at what I'm rocking down here I'm going to turn on the headlamp here. I have core 2 dual ATI infinity and ATI infinity and like that is uh, I just decided to put a lot of uh, Stickers on there for the heck of it, but it was rocking one of the first blu-ray drives and I have a DVD drive there and I have a, a, a Terabyte hard drive two terabytes and an SSD here and that can be moved up and see such that Antec skeleton you can actually hang external hard drives here and so I have one external uh, uh, Apple hard drive that I, I'm using for data storage but you can see a USB plug here and all the power connectors are going to the back of the computer if you're wondering where it is uh, this is a uh, uh, Intel i7-2600 um, so this is the uh, 2600K uh, and so I, I just have overclocked at 4 gigahertz but then I have uh, 16 gigs of 2133 megahertz RAM. And this is a gigabyte motherboard, but it's a small one. I grabbed it because, like I said, it burned up my AMD one. And I have just the 5670, and I put an Arctic cooling fan on it so I can run Ifinity. And this is the Ifinity setup I have set up here. And that is me with my headlamp on. But, uh, as you can see, I have it pretty much decked out all the way in the back here. I just recently cleaned the shop, so the fan looks somewhat presentable. Otherwise, I'm usually pretty dirty over here because I'm really busy. I'm going to have my two printers, my brother, my uh, inkjet, and then I usually have this this laptop as a salvage one. Somebody well, went on a temper tantrum and threw it and destroyed it, and I just uh, Frankenstein it back together. So I usually display stuff. I have my plants. I don't know why I have plants there. It's just my thing. Um, but a lot of stuff in the back here. My power uh, distribution, uh, laptops I'm fixing. Look at this, guys. That is a old school uh, acrylic plastic uh, acrylic case here with old school uh, fan controllers. I might put this together one day for myself. Down there is just a lot of my tools, heat gun, uh, more junk. Uh, my Dremel is in there for uh, most of my stuff here. My extra Dremel bits there because uh, you wouldn't believe how uh, necessary it is. And Mr. Ha Handy Hands here. It looks like a mess up here, but this is everything I need. I need everything here. There are SATA cables, there are screws all over the place in here. I mean, you, it's just everywhere. I, I still have to tidy this, but 
in a pinch, uh, when I start working, I get busy. This is a, uh, but this is the, my main diagnostics computer. All the cables coming out here for cell phone repairs, interfacing, and stuff like that. And so this is the main uh, go-to computer. However, if it does go out, I do have my secondary computer, which is running Windows 7 Pro. The top computer is run, running Windows 10. And I have, of course, this is actually set up here so that uh, when I'm working at my station down here, um, I can actually look up and see customers coming back because the customers are usually back over here. So, uh, let's see. Old motherboards, tools, 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 cables all over the place. Messy, 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 but I do need it all. Uh, I have my Claptrap, my Sega Genesis Mini, uh, an old uh, LGA 775 board. But this is my uh, secondary uh, computer because I need a backup computer at the shop here. So it's running an FX uh, 83, uh, 8320, overclocked to 4 gigahertz and has 16 gigs of 1866 megahertz RAM in there. More than enough. Uh, why am I keeping Windows 7 Pro? Quite frankly, it, di it uh, gives better diagnostics on hard drives. Windows 10 just does not do an accurate diagnostics. But you can see I have it all decked out. Um, this is my, this motherboard is the uh, Gigabyte G1 Gaming and it's a rare, it's a little bit uh, rare because this motherboard has an M.2 slot and so uh, I can, uh, I do my, my main C drive is the M.2 but if I needed to diagnose, you know, or pull data from the M.2 I can do that and you're wondering how can I do that if my main C drive is my operating system well, if you can, I'm going to go here and I'm going to turn out the light real quick so this computer is uh, this uh, Windows 7 computer is actually uh, we go here to my computer if you can see here there is another hard drive so there is the C drive here Windows 7 Pro on my M.2 on my M.2 and then oh but it's not really an M.2 uh, it is an M SATA but it's not um, it's not like a, a really fast M.2 one so but here if you can see I have another operating system and in this operating system there is Windows 10 Pro on there so whenever I need to uh, do some diagnostics or I need to pull um, put in the M.2 I just didn't want to buy, buy a connector to it I guess I could do that but just in case one operating system went and the Western Digital Black hard drive here has my Windows Pro and then storage and data drives all of our and so if you're wondering why it's open, it's because I used to Bitcoin mine. And this is my GTX 10, 1060 and I, uh, Zotac and the Zotac fan uh, failed. So it slapped on a 10,000 RPM fan and that's why it's so noisy. But uh, it, it's been running 20, it's been running seven days a week. And this is an older computer I thought I put together, somebody th threw it away, but it's small and nice and it fits right under my cupboard. And this is what you see over there. It's also Windows 7 uh, Pro. but. It's set up so I can use it for like, you know, uh, looking up stuff and uh, backing up data into it too because it has a one terabyte hard drive in there too. So those are the three main computers that are running at the shop. Um, I guess like in the pinch I can even use my little i3 laptop there. But uh, the diagnostics works workstation that I have is uh, basically here as you can see the KVM. I have very limited space so I'll put a desktop here, connect it to the KVM, switch it out to uh, the Dell monitor I have right there so um, technically it is a four port switch but of course I usually only have space for two one will always be diagno uh, diagnosed here uh, this is my cooler master and I have my change I don't know I have to change there it's my cooler master um, uh, laptop fan uh, and this has been serving me well too when I first bought it, it was seventy five dollars now they're like over a hundred bucks but you know definitely it's worth getting one of these, you know, if you want something good, get one of these uh, junk power cables and stuff like that. And all this stuff I start to organize, uh, I still have to set up the security system. And so, but check this out. This is a, an old shuttle computer back from the XP days too. I just kept the case. Um, but otherwise, uh, there's some, this is a customer's computer. This I had to take apart and I get more space. Otherwise, believe it or not, I use this Dell right here, this Dell monitor. And I have it connected with a VGA and DVI. And then I also have, uh, and I have this little, besides my, my hot noodles, basically, uh, I have this blue bin because I'm using it to recycle electronics. And otherwise, I'll have a stand-up table, which gives me more, some more work, workspace. And when that's usually gone, I have more workspace. I even use uh, this top area for a workspace, and I have my 
LED uh, magnifying little uh, setup here with a magnifying glass here so I can do uh, motherboard inspections, phone inspections and such. Um, but also out here is the main shop so I can show you guys up there. So, But basically that's a, a lot of the information about COVID. And so if you guys have never really seen us, we are called Lore Imports and Custom PC. And that is our information. So uh, that phone number is out of date. But but basically there we go. We have uh, we have our custom gaming computer. This is something on consignment. And so is this ASUS gaming computer that's on consignment too. But just uh, thought it was really long overdue to do a little uh, video on the shop.